Ideas for the future. Ten startups introduce concepts that could revolutionize healthcare. They only have minutes to convince the jury. The finalists are chosen from among 80 applicants from 22 different countries. The excitement rises. Who will win the startup track competition at this year's World Health Summit? It's the eighth time the event is taking place in Berlin, once again at the German Federal Foreign Office. A lively opening ceremony attended by illustrious figures from the field, all here to wrestle with a vital question. How can we improve global health care? Bienvenue à vous tous. Herzlich willkommen. Welcome to the World Health Summit 2016. It's a unique forum. For three days, decision makers from the worlds of science, business, politics, and civil society discuss the most pressing issues in health. For example, the dramatic plight of migrants worldwide. What are the best ways to provide medical care to those who have left their homelands? Experts who have been trying to help on the ground recount their experiences. The panel on the healthcare plight of migrant populations I found to be, you know, very compelling and uh, really pointed out the need to have more governmental policies and interactions with uh, providing for the, the needs of populations that find themselves without a country. And recent crises are also in the spotlight. The GDP of the three Ebola affected countries shrank significantly. For example, what lessons have we learned from the Ebola epidemic? Now, the alternative to education is unfortunately only dictatorship. The battle against infectious disease is a battle for better education. Health issues don't recognize borders. We need to sustain the international solidarity and the sense that these are problems where, which might be worse in African countries, but they are relevant to countries everywhere. The World Health Summit is a platform for open exchange and a forum for critical exchange. Some of the people from the poorer countries may see, well, what are the problems in uh, Northern Europe and, and the United States or Japan? But this is exactly what we need. We need this type of discussion. We have to sensitize both areas in the world. Every year, a new president takes the helm at the World Health Summit, a prominent figure from the country that will host the WHS regional meeting the following April. In 2017, the regional summit takes place in Montreal. The general topic will be health and healthcare in a pluralistic society, in a diverse society. The lunch dialogue with representatives from the M8 Alliance, a new development that provides a chance for more personal exchange. The academic network issues calls for action and a closing M8 statement. In it, the Alliance makes concrete demands directed at policymakers and governments. It's agenda setting at the best, and we are very proud. The World Health Summit is the forum we, where we bring this together and initiate these calls for action. What role does technology play in the prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of disease? Yet another highlight at this year's summit. Experts from electronics, space research, and information technology discuss what their fields can contribute to providing adequate health care. The head of the International Atomic Energy Agency talks about the importance of nuclear medicine, exceptional perspectives that can give wings to fresh ideas. We are very interested in fora like the WHS to find this new collaboration 
because together we can solve problems. At the root of many concepts, basic research. Chemists, physicians, biologists. At the World Health Summit, top experts hammer away at the challenges together. How we can deploy the very best in science to help meet these challenges is something that the World Health Summit will address and which we as scientists can help by having these opportunities at this conference. One event, 40 sessions. I've been having a lot of fun at the smaller sessions where I don't understand the topic or I don't have prior knowledge of it, but when I go and there's presentations explaining and then discussion afterwards, it's really cool and I learn a lot and I meet great people. I find it really interesting because I want to be in the field of policy and it's so useful to meet global leaders, discuss and want to partner to actually help the world. I really like it because it's a really multicultural and people coming from different countries with different backgrounds. The summit always sees many return participants and they bring fresh ideas. The goal of this workshop is to look for ways to improve the situation for women in the health sector. In small groups, the participants develop active strategies that can have an impact in daily practice. We recognize that women are not visible. When you look at top leadership, we're still seeing only 20 to 25 percent women, whereas 75 percent, and in some countries, 90 percent of the health workforce are women. And women are also in the limelight at the closing ceremony. The demand? Women's rights have to be supported and strengthened. Without their help, global health care provision will never move forward. The experience that I've had personally, of course, uh, have made me very sensitive against all forms of discrimination. And the winner of the startup track competition? They received the prize from the hand of Germany's health minister on WHS night. I feel very honored tonight as a patron of the WHS Startup Track 2016 to announce the winner. The winner of the World Health Summit Startup Track 2016 is Elad Fein at I Feel Health from Israel. Congratulations. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing them and you at the 2017 World Health Summit. Next year, as always, in Berlin.